Hello everybody, it's Joy Selena and we are back here on the Frailcraft server and uh, this is actually future me telling you that past me recorded some time with Typeport and I'm about to share that with you uh, so you can see a little bit about what we're doing here at Neighbors United. So with that, I will see you uh, in the past, but in the future, because by the time you see this, it's a future from now when I'm recording this. So yeah, it's a, we're going to the past in the future. This oh, is, I should have had you tell this, this story while I was recording. Gah. Oh, I mean, I could retell it, but yeah, like acting. <laughs> I could even show you where. It was. Um, so anyways, yeah, if you go down this uh, random hallway, mm -hmm. then this is where we're getting yellow terracotta for Seamus, I think. Okay. I don't know if he wants it. We have it. Um, and then over here is our melon and pumpkin farm. So, you know, help yourself. Take them to spawn and get emeralds and stuff. And then, of course, you can come up here and see the redstone -y bits. Um, it's only one layer. He's going to add more, I think. I don't What was that beep, beep, beep? Um, that was my microwave. Somebody's oh. making pizza I'm or like, ramen noodles or something. I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, wait a second, did did they add a sound? Beep, <laughs> beep, beep. I was like, yeah, you're on, the, you're on the scaffolding elevator. Yeah, exactly. Um, so down this way, um, apparently we have another work form. Mm -hmm. Manual, it looks Manual. like, but it's there. Um, and then this is our kelp. But this is not our kelp output. This is just. I was just, gonna say, um, this looks like somebody's making stones. Yeah. Uh, see, eagle loves his scaffolding. So if you go up, you can see the machine, and if you go down, that's actually where the. Uh, me and scaffolding. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So, this over here is just a bunch of storage for the kelp. I've Let's already see, converted it. It's it's only running when we're here. Okay. Um, so, Eagle, I don't know if you've noticed, but he likes to be efficient. Um, so, he has the kelp going into this chest, and then it goes into this smoker, mm -hmm. right? And if that smoker is full, or if the chest gets too overloaded then like it sends a redstone signal and like starts feeding the other smoker but it looks like he's got it disabled at the moment because he only has half the farm built yeah well um, yeah because he needs it to yeah. be coming back once it's done dried kelp block and back into the bottom yeah well that to be that cooking be, itself um, right yeah, that's a manual thing because you have to make it blocks before you can put it oh, in. Oh, yeah. I see, I see, so, I see. Yeah. So then he needs a chest but, over here so that when you make the kelp, the dry kelp yeah, blocks, you can put it in I there think, and it feeds it. Here. Yeah, that's right here. Oh, that's what that but is. Right, okay. Yeah, but right now you see he, he's got that redstone uh, torch there so you can't put this one in he'll have to okay have which to turns this hopper that. off if i am correct and what little yes. knowledge i know i know that a redstone yes. torch will turn a hopper off Woohoo! i learned so that yeah if frill. we jump up here basically there's this comparator that will come out and then when it gets full of enough kelp then it will turn this torch off which will unlock that hopper um, and then let stuff cook. But, yeah, basically the way he the way he had it built on the last one, which he's going to do a modified version of the same thing here, is that the second smoker will always have um, kelp in it, but the toggle is going to be for if it has fuel or not. So okay. that way, you know, it will only cook as much fuel as you have in there instead of. You know, you've got plenty of fuel and you're only getting five kelp at a time and you're wasting the fuel. I see. I see. So, yeah, there's that. And then if we go back, I don't know what's down that way. There's only one way to find out. Scale. Whoa, there's how you. There's nothing down here but a couple hoppers. Ah, okay. 
Beep, beep, beep. On up. Oh, I missed a level. Oh, you went too far? There's this level. Where yeah, there's nothing be... at yet. Yeah, there, I don't know what he's doing with there. And then if you go up one more, that's where the kelp farm is. And you can see where he's going to add the second half. Aha. Yeah, he asked for the redstone that I had at my base to help with the machine, as he called it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, the yeah, machine. Yeah, because I watched your video and I was like, oh, grab the redstone. And you're like, I'll grab this and grab this. I'm like, grab the redstone. <laughs> then you're like, oh, that's good. And then you walked up. I'm like, no, we need that redstone. So I Who told are Eagle, you talking I was like, to, though? Do I, I need redstone? I don't need redstone. Eagle. Unless Eagle I'm decorating I'm... someplace that's going to have blood all over the place. I don't need redstone. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And then we've got, this is kind of like the community room, or the lounge room, okay. whatever you want to call it. We've got the map over here, the brewing, apparently. This is our uh, manual furnace, furnace array. Furnace array. <laughs> this was our old manual kelp farm design. But yeah, this, that's what this oh, is. We do have an this is, this is, an this is the grill. This is like the industrial right, size right, grill right. that everybody wants, this, right? Yeah, this is Joy's Kitchen. Okay. Um, but yeah, so if you look on this map. I'm neither barefoot um, nor pregnant in my kitchen, by the way. <laughs> right. So if you see this grass in the orange above the green mm -hmm, arrow. Right there. That block. Um, that, is, that is the cliff that I started working on. Okay. So it goes to the green and then over to this little bay and it goes all the way around the bay. So it's going okay. It's going to go all the way around. I see. I see the gray, the yeah. gray line. And then I and think that's right as there. far wide as I'm going to make it. And then from there, I'm going to make the mountain range, kind of go down into the left and connect back over here to the grass. Okay. So we'll have this valley, on top of the cliff, on you know in between the mountain range. Okay. So what is the crew working on? Well, it seems like Eagle's working on sustaining us, right? Yeah, Giving he's a mole man. He does his little redstone and digs tunnel. Okay. And I'm landscaping. Okay. And uh, Fran is um, knitting a blanket. <laughs> 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 she got distracted. Um, but I think once... I get the grass in the floor level in the sky, as you call it. Mm -hmm. um, she's going to be building, I don't know, houses and stuff. Okay. Uh, so what I was thinking on the cliff here, on the east side of the bay, mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to bring the cliff all the way back up to the ocean. I'm going to leave it kind of level with where it is now with the west side. Okay. And then bring the mountains down. So that orange, uh, I don't know, peninsula, inland, landy mass there that I'm not doing anything with. I figured that could be a good spot for like, not really a port town, but like port stuff. Okay. You know, so like we could have a little, like a, you know, a cargo master's place or, a, you know some like an inn or something like that could be like our main like access point and okay. then we're gonna have a a cave that winds up and takes us to the top level okay and then that's gonna be like our shangri-la or whatever okay so is there a desire to kind of re-terraform the badlands area here into looking more green so that we level it out just toss toss um, just throwing swords just throw around swords. um so that it's, um, it's leveled yeah, out and green because yeah. i because i'm looking for what can i work on that may not be i mean it may not be glamorous right. but something we can start um terraforming and then um well let me show you that because that can be our shop is selling of... a lot of selling a lot of this terracotta right i mean is that our shop i mean you could we we don't have we don't have a shop um Hawk is working on a shop for Hello Creeper. I don't have a bow. Um, he's working on a shop to sell like enchanted uh, weapons and stuff. He's over here. 
uh, he's going to use our trading hall to get like all the books and nice shot, all the books and weapons and armor, and mm -hmm. then use the guardian form or whatever to enchant them. And then he's going to sell, you know, basically he's saving you time. As we were talking about, so he's going to do that for a shop. Is there a possibility that we could have just a, you know, a terracotta, terracotta? I know that uh, Pan had that for a shop because she was in a Badlands last right. time. Yes. Um, that could totally be a shop, um, because we do have plenty of Badlands here, and we're going to use 0% of it. Okay. <laughs> so, this is all harvest. Okay. Um, so, well, I think but, yeah. we don't want to harvest the stuff that is under, or we just, we don't care what's under. We're just going to have a flat top, and then you're going to terraform from that yeah. point, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to stay flat. I'll, you know, we'll have it gradually slope up or whatever. Um, but yeah, everything that we're currently standing on and seeing is irrelevant. It's all going to be either underneath our base and covered up completely, or it's going to be outside the uh, mountains and nobody's going to see it. Okay. Um, so, so essentially, yeah, this is like hard. Hollywood. We're just going to have, we're going to build the facade of a mountain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we got our little playset. set. Um, okay, so how does this then, work? <laughs> oh, this is my uh, cow thing. Um, so you just come in here with your looting three sword that you don't have, but I do. And you kill all I'm these guys. Too. Come on, stop running. Okay, so yeah, you kill all these guys. And you get all your stuff. Mm -hmm. And see the the trap doors. If they're closed, the babies can't fall out. But if they're open, okay. then the adults can't fall out. But the babies can't. Okay. And so, so then you, just you grab, yeah, feed you just them. grab wheat, feed them all, and, and then the babies when drop you down. Make a baby. The baby's like, oh, you have wheat, and they jump at you. They take you know one damage or whatever. But who cares? You're, they're just. This is the killing floor. It doesn't matter if they're pre damaged. So yeah, you just uh, feed them, and then you'll get twenty babies or whatever down here. I don't know, ten babies. Okay. However many are up there, I don't. I didn't really count them. Um, so yeah, you get your babies down here, and you let them grow, and then you don't have to worry about killing too many or whatever. You just whichever ones are down here are. So my technique on the just vanilla server that I didn't know was a technique until I put uh, sheep next to them, is I max out like you know twenty five whatever. Um, right or so and yeah, then the you just you know and I have like a couple of blocks well actually I have a pin probably this big but you just hold the wheat and they cram themselves into a small little area and then they all die <laughs> a bunch of them die and then you just go down and you pick up stuff <laughs> <That's> so, <mean. laughs> so while I feed and breed them they're clumped together and they and some of them die for every baby that's born one of them has to die and then right yeah, yeah. and then the if it's not enough smaller, so the, the parents don't. yeah and then if it's not enough i just you know i feed the sheep and they go oh look there's more wheat and they just crush themselves <laughs> <laughs> yeah um back on the last season i had um a cow pit it was a one one wide hole with a fence post mm -hmm. push a button and the cows bob up and down and you feed them all and you know, they would get to 25 and all the babies would force their parents to die. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't like, like, that's a good starter farm. Mm -hmm. But once you get, you know, looting on your sword, then you get more for killing them than for letting them die. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, that's I killed, true. I killed, what, 10, maybe 12, I don't know. And, like, I got all this from. Excellent. And I, I was like, I threw it on the ground and you ran oh, off. <laughs> all that. Yeah, that's substantial. I, I guess we're eating beef in this town. Yeah, yeah. Beef. It's this what's for dinner. Hog, he hog heaven over there, but we got beef for dinner. Okay, what do I do with the eggs? Are we keeping the eggs? Do we still need to populate more cheese? Um, there is a chest. Oh, there's a chest. That you can throw them in. Put them in. Um, cake for days? But I we don't. Cake for days? I. I I have no idea. Oh, because that's the um, other thing. Having them I here, know, I can just come with a bucket or like a ton of buckets and go dong, 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 dong. Yeah, and get milk or whatever, yeah. 
I think. Yeah, I think store a, number three is cakes for days. Port. <laughs> this is a tie board invention. <laughs> <laughs> it's not pretty, but it works. All right, so um, yeah, I added this wheat field um, because keep... we had a little one over there for like decoration. Mm -hmm. um, but like, we needed more cows and stuff, so I just I kind of planted this. Okay. You know, and then we don't have a tree farm per se, but you know we've got spruce over there, and then you know acacia over there, and it's just kind of chop and replant if you need something. But let me okay. show you the cliff. Oh, actually strike that before the cliff we built the stone generator oh well you know actually when you live in a mesa it's harder it takes yeah. a little longer to get the stone. stone so that's our little uh b and b <laughs> just you know if you're here and it's nighttime you take and take oh well i at least set my respawn point right and then you mine these five blocks and they go into the double chest and if the double chest is full or you have junk in your inventory you just move it over this little junk chest. Mm. And then if you have silk touch, it's a, you know, I, we used to say smooth stone, but now it's just a stone, stone. generator. <laughs> and if you don't, then it's a cobble. But yeah, I don't, I'm actually curious. I'm going to look on my stats page. How much you've mined for, so far? Yeah. What is it under items? Where is the stone? Nine thousand nine hundred and twenty-six. You're close to ten thousand. Get busy. Yeah. Times used eight thousand seven hundred and sixty-four. Wow. So yeah, I've uh, I've placed some stone. Just a little but, bit. Uh, yeah, this is bamboo. If you need it. I was gonna um, say, I'm just. And then. While we're here, we might as well harvest. Yeah. Sure, sure. You'll get like you know three or five stacks. I don't remember. like two and a half okay sure something like that yeah two and a half three that's cool um so i need to move the scaffolding mm -hmm. this is where i initially built it but um the front side like i've lit up the back side of the underneath the cliff but i haven't lit up the ah pushed me off I haven't Did lit I really? up the front. not to your death i hope no no i got feather falling for it um, but yeah, the front side of the cliff is not lit up because, you know, if there's a creeper out there or whatever, like, what are they going to do there on the outside of our town? And, right. You know, and you don't want torches just littering everything. That would just look weird. Well, yeah. So I mean, when it you come up with like scaffolding, a yeah, if you come up with a scaffolding here and there's a creeper on the front, it can blow you up. So okay. I need to move it to like just in the middle of this grass or something yeah. for now. Um, and this is the Mark IV Fisher, just because, you know, whatever. Okay. Good to um, know. But, yeah. So, this is what the plan is. We're going to put dirt, like, everywhere. Like, not over the ocean. Behind us. Mm-hmm. So, like, this is the edge until I build the mountains, which I still have to plan out. Um, and then this goes all the way over, you saw the map. And that all needs dirt. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm going to come back and detail it. And I haven't slept, so let me jump off this clip. Whee! Ah. Splash down. Um, so th this is going to be like our little port or bay or shipping docks thing. Um, okay. You know, if you, if, you, if you ever, like, wanted to build one or something, you can take the lead. It doesn't matter. Um, but somebody, Eagle, Eagle suggested this would be a good place for a bay. Yeah. Or he suggested it would be nice to have a bay. And then I saw this. I was like, this is our bay now. Uh, but this is uh, dry dock, uh, shallow, going to kill all our people. So this needs to be dug out. Um, and all this needs to be dug out. So if you okay. want to start up a, a red sand terracotta shop, this would be a good spot to get crap. Okay. The other question I was going to ask, so is this cliff going to uh, then come down to sea level at at some point? Like like yeah. I was thinking, uh, let me swim over here. That wasn't my plan, but you, you know, you can suggest things. 
Well, I just think for topography reasons, it would be interesting. And then if it, if it came gradually down so that you end up having a way to get up there. Oh, there will be a way to get up there. I know, but I'm just saying that it would seem topography wise that it might be a good thing to have the slopes coming down and then you could have this be your, you know, where the docks would actually be because it would be at the same level as your housing that would then lead up. Right. Yeah, this was going to be the, the docks area. Okay. Um, but Eagle, he suggested that it would be cool if we had like a windy cave oh, okay. thing that goes to the top. So what I was going to do is on the top side, once we get the dirt and mountains and everything, I was going to make like a lake and have that lake have a river and have the river flow you know, over into this area, roughly, Okay. you know, we'll, we'll just call it right here. Okay. So the river is going to flow over here. And then I was going to make a waterfall right here. Okay. Okay. And then behind the waterfall, like not hidden, but like just behind it, you know, mm -hmm. I was going to have the cave entrance ah. and have that wind its way up to, you know, up there. Okay. So then the cliffs then need to extend like, this way more. In the cave. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the cliff, this is the cliff face. Okay. From here, I was going to figure out, because I, I have no idea. I've never made cliffs before. <laughs> I've never made mountains before. I've never done any of this before. Okay. Um, so I was going to do the mountain range, you know, from here and then rat, like follow the not the cliff itself, but like the cliff land would mm -hmm. come back, you know, and then there'd be the mountain. Okay. So, so somewhere around here, I have to figure out exactly how I want to transition, you know, cliff into mountain into right. where we're standing. Okay. But I don't know exactly. I just, I was doing cliff forever and then I'm like, okay, I think I'm good on the cliff now. So like the cliff's going to yeah. come this way, you know, and then... You know, here we're at mountain range. Okay. So the mountain's going to be, you know, another 50 blocks or whatever up from where the cliff is. Okie dokie. I got you. So. I got you now. Yeah, none of this is planned. It's just all thought out in my head. Mm -hmm. um, I know how that is. There's a cave. What is this? Ooh, is that like a grotto. A drop off? Is that like a drop off? Or is that my um, graphics card see. not, like, updating? No, it doesn't go down. It's just a little oh, okay. Grotto. It's just, yeah, it's just It's the color because it's the brown, because right the brown, um, what you want oh, there we terracotta. Go. So it yeah, I was look, like, what is or this? it looked like brown terracotta. Oh, I guess it was a lighting glitch. Yeah, you know, yeah. Minecraft never has I was like, like that. what is... Yeah, so... Yeah, as far as what you can work on, um, like I said, there's um, all this that needs to be dug out of our bay so that we can actually have ships here that don't get destroyed. Mm -hmm. um, and then we need to put dirt on our sky plateau <laughs> or okay. whatever we're calling it. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I've never made mountains, um, so... I have to figure figure out how I'm going to transition that. And then this over here, I don't think we want to keep it red sand and stuff. But right, this that's is what gonna I was be thinking. Like our, yeah, this is going to be like our port area. So this needs to be stone or dirt or whatever. Okay. So there's lots to do there if you is. don't want to help Eagle dig his tunnel and make redstone. I definitely do and not then, want to make red, redstone -y stuff. Yeah, and then let's see if I remember where these uh, spawners are. They're, they're over here. Okay, so yeah, this goes back over to the cliff. Oh, it's getting to be nighttime. Oh, no, it's just dark hey, here. Spider. Oh, yes, I see. We've created a um, mob inexpensive farm. Yeah. mob oh, farm. Yeah. 
Okay. We'll just, we'll just play volleyball Fun. with it. Yeah. Toss the zombie. Right. I didn't put that dirt there. I don't know what all this is. Probably somebody's like, I'm tired of getting killed by stuff coming through. Yeah, I don't know. Like that guy. Speaking of. Oh, and that guy. Alright. But yeah, no, um... Hey, there's some coal if you... Do you have... Four? I have fortune one. Uh, I got fortune three. Here's some coal for you. That should be enough to make a torch. Yes, it is. Ah! What can I throw away? Zombie flesh. Get out of here. Yeah, there's some skeletons waiting for you. Oh, yeah, you guys fight each other. And then I'll kill the winner. Alright, I slept the night away. Well, I thought there was another one. Where'd you go? There was gotcha. two. Gotcha. Maybe. So. Oh, and look at these creepers. Waiting for us. Whoops, missed. Oh, we did get some pillagers a couple times on this corner here. I don't know. But yeah, the... The spawners, I know they're this way, but I think we need to go up. You still killing stuff? Uh, yes. And then I'm going to put down some torches. I got you the coal. What more do you want? Torches interference. Yeah, so this is where I but figured yeah, the... you'd marry the landscaping at some point. So how far back is, is this? Is this is all going to become mountain. Well, if you look, our cliff is right there. Mm -hmm. Um, and then <clears throat> we're obviously going to have some dirt, you know, coming this way. So it's not just mountain. You know, we got to have some livable space up here. So the dirt, you know, let's just say for for this, let's say the dirt comes to here. Okay. Oops. Okay, but you know, up there. So then yeah. from here would go up, you know, and it's going to go I don't know, 10 or 20 blocks back while it's going, you know, 50 up or something. Okay. And then it's got to come back down. So I would say that probably I'll probably not do the back side first. I'll do the front facade and then come back and finish the back, but the back I mean, it's probably going to go to that grass and stuff over there if I if I go up and then come back down and go okay. all the way down to, you know, to if if we have some kind of land here that we're not digging up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because we can't say the big dig on this channel, you know. There we ah. go. Okay, putting the F3 up. This is 4944-1263 at level 68. Yeah, and I made a little riggedy stairway. But yeah, I dug it out, so it's nine by nine, and I don't know, six or seven or something down, so that whoever wants to make a zombie, f or this is, uh, is this a spider? So or for now, we'll say it's the place with the floating sand block. It's the tunnel like with a the zombie. floating so sand yeah, this, block. So this I lost is the you. zombie one. So yeah, whoever wants to make one. I just went down the stairs. Oh, you went down these? Nope. These rickety stairs. No, not those. Not those stairs. Not at all those stairs. There, I, I made you a, a runway. Oh, down these rickety stairs. Oh, 
Okay, so that's the zombies. Yeah, and then not close enough to make a dual spawner, but somewhere nearby-ish is the spider one. Okay. Well, but we'll try we also to put have... the killing chambers so they go to the same, near the same area. So, like, you can easily get from one killing area to the other. So, now you said you found your head in, my head in this ravine? Yeah. But I have not been in this ravine. Yeah, it connects. It connects to my old ravine? No. It you were when you first got here and you were like, I'll just go down and, and mine or whatever until somebody I don't recall. Okay, so from our base, right? Mm-hmm. You come this way and you go left. And this right here is some lava that I blocked off. Okay. And then you go further this way. And then we get to this area right here with the water. And there was a crafting table right over in this area. And right down here was a zombie with your head on it. I don't remember dying once I got here. Well, I don't know, unless somebody no. took a head out of your chest and threw it at a zombie and then left. No. <laughs> but, but yeah, I was exploring the ravine, and like I said, I saw the crafting table, and I'm like, why is there a crafting table in here? And then I saw the water and was like, have, is this, have I seen this water? Is this my crafting table? I'm trying to like piece it together, and I look over, and I see... Just hanging out over here is just a little zombie <laughs> trying to get me with a joy head on him. And I'm just like, what is going on? And Is there yeah, another way I that I came down? Yes. This ravine connects with another uh, area that's another. Interesting. Because I was not exploring. Like, I had already explored this ravine. Okay. So I was, like, branching off exploring other stuff. Um, and like how we went where the lava was, um, where, where the, uh, where I, I blocked off the lava over here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we, we had went this way before and like I said, I, I explored a good bit of it, not all of it, but you know, 90% or whatever. So it's like, all right, I'll go a different way. So from our base over here. Instead of going left, I was like, I'll go right. So I went, because this wall wasn't here. E Eagle Eagle did this. Let's, let's just dig over here. Um, so see, there's more, more ravine over this way. We we'll just have to fill this back in. But see, there's more ravine over here. And so I'd already explored that a good bit. So I was like, I'll just go these, I'll go this way. So I started exploring this way. And, you know, I get to little caves and branches or whatever. And I'd been exploring for an hour, hour and a half, just lighting everything up. You know, you come over here and there's there's this ravine, <laughs> you know. So I, I'm, I'm, I lit all of this up. And okay. I've been gone for a while. My inventory's full. And then I come across you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, how has Joy been here before, you know? Because, like, this is stuff I hadn't explored. And that's when I realized, wait, I'm like two feet from our base. Like I made a huge circle and this connects to the other side. How funny. Well, I need to go so, look at yeah, some past some, footage because I have no died. recollection. Of that. I don't know. Like I said, either you died and you don't remember or somebody stole your head and just threw it at a zombie, which I think that's hilarious. But yeah, so that's where I found my first Joy Selena head. Oh, I'm going to have to review some tape, figure out <laughs> when did I die? And um, yeah, I don't... what had I been drinking that I don't remember it? <laughs> yeah, like I said, I was just minding my own business. And I'm like, Joy Selena, what are you doing here? Why are you trying to eat me? 
Too funny. So, yeah. I don't know where you Was died. I just know armor? where your head wound up. Like all my armor? He, I don't remember. I know they had stuff. There was... Somebody had like an iron sword or, you know, an iron press breastplate or something. They had some gear that they didn't despawn, you know, and yeah, one of them had your head. Too funny. Well, we're wrapping up here where we began the whole episode and uh, back here in my little basement dungeon in um, on the server. So I'm going to get started working on this stuff, but I'm going to save that until the next video. And so with that, I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm excited about what we're gonna be doing here and seeing actually kind of what has happened since I recorded all those shenanigans with Typort. Um, it'll be exciting to see and to participate and to get to building. So with that, I will say, I'll see you next time.